Hi, I'm Carla, and I have a lot of rubber duckies. I have quite a few rubber duckies on my desk, and if you go into many software engineering offices or home offices, you're going to see rubber duckies everywhere. And why is that? Why do software developers really like rubber duckies? And why should you get a rubber ducky? So my embarrassing amount of rubber duckies is mostly because my little brother decided to get me a bag of a hundred mini rubber duckies for Christmas last year. I don't think most programmers have this many rubber duckies with them, but they are absolutely all over my office and my home. So why are rubber duckies important tools for programmers? This goes back to a short story in the book, uh, A Pragmatic Programmer from uh, I think 1999, where a programmer would rock around with a rubber ducky and he would talk to his rubber ducky when he had problems, problems with his code. So this concept of rubber duck debugging came up from that short story. And what is rubber duck debugging? That is when you explain your code to a rubber duck. The rubber duck answers and gives you all of the solutions to the universe back. Not really. <laughs> the idea behind rubber duck debugging is that you are explaining your problems out loud and working through it line by line. This approach is really similar to perhaps uh, in maybe a writing class, you likely had to read your drafts out loud because it was easier to find your mistakes. It's the exact same concept. When you read your code out loud and you, you verbalize what you're trying to do, it becomes a lot easier to find the problem, especially if it's a small problem, let's say like uh, misspelling a variable or uh, calling the wrong function, so on and so forth. I do it all the time. And at first it was really weird because you're effectively talking to yourself and or, you know, Miss Rubber Duck. And it was weird in you know an office full of people, you get really self-conscious about it. But over time, I realized that it's completely normal and a lot of developers do it. I think I started off just sort of mumbling <laughs> under my breath and it kind of escalated to like, I talk out loud in my office and it's got, <laughs> uh, I work from home permanently. Uh, I'm a remote employee and my boyfriend has only been working from home for the last couple of months. And at first he, was a little confused because he thought I was talking to him. <laughs> so he would pop his head into my office to, you know, ask if I needed anything or to repeat what I said because he thought I was talking to him. So it's really feels kind of self-conscious at first. You'll you'll feel self-conscious, but I think eventually you realize that you know, either you're alone and no one cares or you have no one around you to care or that everyone does it to some extent and that I personally feel it really helps. Maybe some other people, they're able to internalize their thoughts in a way that they can solve all their problems by just reading their code. Personally, I can't. I love talking about it out loud and I love ranting about my code out loud in my office. I don't have a problem with it. So that's why rubber ducks are absolutely fantastic tools. You, you don't, don't actually need a rubber duck with you. The whole point of rubber duck debugging is the concept of explaining your problems out loud to help you become a better developer and find the problems in your code. And it doesn't need to be a rubber duck. I also have a Scooby-Doo on my desk and my dog Frankie is a great debugging tool too. You can also practice this with your friends or coworkers Definitely in the beginning when I was first learning how to code, sometimes I just had a problem and I would call up some of my you know, classmates to say, hey, I have this problem. Can I just explain it out loud to you? Can you help me solve this? And probably 75% of the time we would figure out the problem or well, about 75% of the time I would figure out the problem while describing it to my friend. So I, it's really, really helpful and they're also really fun to look at. 
I bring these with me when I travel for work and I give them out to my colleagues and my coworkers and my coworkers kids because I have a hundred of them. <laughs> I do not need a hundred rubber duckies. I don't think any programmer needs a hundred rubber duckies. I think rubber ducks are my favorite programming tool that does not reside on an actual computer that is not a piece of software. Hopefully you found this helpful. I will uh, link in the description where you can get a hundred rubber duckies if you would like them. I want to thank everyone that reached out to me on Twitter and gave me really, really great advice on how to make my content better. And I responded to a bunch of people and I will be adding that into this video. So if you reached out to me on Twitter, thank you so much. And you can reach out to me too if you need help with any 100 days of code, free code camp, so on and so forth. I'd love to help you out for sure. And uh, yeah, like and subscribe for more content.